Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Ergo mobile wallet. We'll be installing it on an Android device and taking a look at the settings. So let's take a look. So when downloading software from anywhere, especially from crypto, you wanna make sure that you're getting it from the source. So we're at the official website for Ergo, which is ergoplatform.org. And we're gonna be showing just that the software that we're about to install on our Android device is coming from the source. If you click on the getting started with Ergo link down here at the bottom, click on that and then select choose your wallet, click on read more here. Uh, it has a list of all the official releases of wallets related to Ergo. Now you have the desktop version, which is a full node that you can install on your desktop. I'm going to be doing a Windows 10 installation of this, so you can check that out coming up. And we also have the Yori, which is a Chrome extension. Now I've already created a video for that. You can check it out here if you want to know how to do it. Uh, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing the Ergo wallet for Android. So if you click on the link right here on the site, it'll redirect you to the GitHub page for the Android wallet. And this is open source, so everything is listed here, as well as there's a link in here to the Google Play Store, which will bring you right to the Google Play Store. And it'll show the Ergo wallet that we're about to install. So let's get to it. So we're on the main screen of my Google Pixel phone, and I'm just gonna open up the Play Store. And in the search menu at the top, I'm just gonna type in Ergo. Now, if you look in the list, it's actually the first one after the ads, which is the official release. So we're going to be tapping on that and then we'll just tap on the install option. It's a fairly small file. It should install within a minute or so. And once it's complete, we can tap on open and launch the wallet. So at the very top, you can see that it's updating the current price. And then we have the option to create a new wallet, restore one or have a read only wallet. We're going to create a new wallet right now. So what it's going to do is it's going to give you a passphrase. Uh, what you want to do is have that recorded somewhere privately and have it written down and keep it in a secure place. Um, I'm not able to show that to you right now because it blocks out my screen. But basically what you're going to do is keep these passphrases in a secure location and then it's going to want to verify the phrase. So we'll just let that go through. I've just recorded it down. And now we're at the verification of the new wallet step. So it's going to ask you to confirm what word three and word four are. And I'm just going to type them both in right now. So this is an example. So I don't really care if you see it, but what you'd really want to do is make sure you do this privately with no one watching and uh, you have everything securely written down. And then the last step is just to check the box that acknowledges that you're responsible for storing all the information. And then you can click on done. And then you have the option to have a safe password encrypted or save device encrypted. So for me, I'm going to be choosing save password. You can select whichever one that you're comfortable with. So I'm just going to be typing in a password right now. Now it should be alphanumeric and they require you to have at least eight characters when you're typing it in. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that in here twice. So it's saved. So now we have the wallet created on our mobile device and it's a pretty basic wallet. You don't really need anything too fancy. It does exactly what you need. Um, let's just take a look at the settings real quickly here. So let's first take a look at the details. So we'll just tap on the details button up here. And at the very top, you have the option to show the contents of whichever wallet you're selecting. I have a main wallet, there's nothing in there. And then when you click on here on the transactions, it actually catches the feed of all the transactions related to this wallet. Uh, which goes right directly from the Ergo Explorer website. I'm just gonna switch on back. And then you go back to the main wallet again. And if you want to receive anything, you can click on receive. And if you're trying to receive Ergo, you can present this QR code or copy and paste the address. You can also enter in an amount and some notes in there. And if you're going to send Ergo, you can click on the send. And it's the basic information of the receiver's address and the amount that you want to send. And you can see that the fee is listed in here before you send. You can confirm that and then click on send. And if you hit the plus in the top corner, you have the option to create a new wallet, restore an existing one, or have a read-only wallet. So the three options are listed right there. And now at the bottom, if we tap on wallet, you first have a description at the top, which you can change and alternate. Uh, you can show all your addresses and display the mnemonic phase. And lastly, if you check out the settings, it just, you can change the display currency. I have in USD right now, and then you can change the mode, whether you want light or dark mode. 
So there you go. That is the Mobile Ergo Wallet installed on an Android device. It's pretty straightforward, very simple, a very clean interface. I like it a lot. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.